it's time, I think, for society to revert to older traditional uh, behaviors and, and cultural norms and so on. Now, um, the enemy has come in and, and affected all our institutions. And you haven't seen ugly yet. And it's happening across the world. What's happening in the Middle East? Um, you know, it, it, it's also their institutions have been um, sort of compromised. And it's happening all over the world now. Um, we started with the, um, the Woodstock and so on, and we accepted certain behaviors and so on and so forth. And we know there were certain type of people. But this thing has become mainstream now in California, uh, San Francisco. They have to pass a law about nudity. People are being nude in the public. Now, I don't know what has happened over time that people think that being nude is beautiful. I mean, this is why we had tuxedo and suits and gowns and, 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 and ties and nice shoes and, and, and well done hair and nails and so on. Because it seems as if that camouflaged our ugly bodies um, or ugly, smelly bodies, you know. Um, the smelliness has its place, but, um, you know, not to be out in the street like that. Even in your home, being nude and walking up in one place is also immoral. Um, you see where people have taken through the keyhole and, and I guess them boys upstate that see through the television and see a naked body and uh, it's just a joke. I mean, you know, we've started wearing clothes because of a reason. Uh, originally, um, I see this is the problem. These people are so evil that they're thinking in terms of uh, how they see things. And because they're evil, they're thinking that originally Adam and Eve were naked. And that, um, you know, it's the fruit. It's not a fruit, but it was sex that caused the whole transgression, the, the original transgression. But although the Bible, the Bible never said that they were naked, it says that after they eat the fruit, they discovered that they were naked. Not necessarily that they were oblivious to their persons. It's just that they had a light, a light covering their persons. I mean, come on, a world is not people walking around naked. And so you have in, 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 in civilizations that are still vestiges of ancient times like Africa and some other parts of the world. You find people, and, and native people in South and, and Central America, they, they, they're naked. And it's normal, the kids don't, you know, find any attraction. And there is no unnecessary arousal and the whole nine yards that everything's, I hope, I've never seen, I've never been this, I don't know. But, no. And then, when they discovered it, the naked body, say, oh yeah, that was nice, seeing your death and all that. He got a lamb and created, no, he took fig leaves. No, they took fig leaves to cover themselves and God clothed them with uh, wool, you know, um, skin of animals and so on. So for them now to coming back and, and going back to this naked stuff, it's just that they're, they're evil because um, they're, they're, they have a misconception of the original condition of men. Uh, and, and, and today, with our high societies and our class, and being a first world nation, we can't live like people who have never been civilized. We have to live and show the world, not only that we have nukes and fast forming planes and, and military might, but also we have social might, we have intellectual might, we have family might, we have political might, we have economic might, we have sports might, we have total institutional might. We have to work on every institution to, to make them strong. And, and things are happening so insidious and so imperceptibly. And as a matter of fact, what I find also is happening is that there's a buddy-buddy thing. Now I find on the internet and in the newspaper there are some trivial issues. And what about peer so to review, all of them are trivial, and they have this um, a loyalty, this um, young mentality, which man, I'm going to turn a blinking eye on your stuff, and you turn one on mine, you know. But we are the ones that are suffering, and they also will suffer, because when they come up with fictitious ideas, and we're basing our society on such ideas, it's going to collapse, because fictitious things can't, you know, you can't build nothing up with sand. You have to do it with rock and, and cement and all my yards. And um, you, you, you have people talking in terms of, uh, you know, you're born this way and all that. There's going to be a reality one day. I mean, you know, it's going into the military. And, and when you get into a situation where, um, you know, it becomes untenable. And, um, you know, when you, when you have false ideas, you lose all the time. 
Okay, it's not only unjust things that cause it to lose, but if you have wrong ideas, even though you're right, and you have wrong ideas, uh, like for example, I mean, you're right, somebody grab your money, and you ought to get back your money, but the person is armed, hello, you have to call the police or leave him alone, because you go to get your money and shoot you, hello, that's faulty thinking, it's my money, I'll get it one way or another, the guy going to kill you. Um, uh, my house is on fire, let me jump off from the roof. Well, the fire brigade might be there fast. What about if you had some rope in your house long enough to reach the ground and you have a place where you could tie it so that you and the family could, you know, practice it or you could escape? You see what I'm saying? So, falsehood will always lead to the same result. You will collapse with it. It will cause you grief and so on. So, these guys up in San Francisco that the law has to you know come to put them. I mean, is it that they've smoked so much that they don't think, oh, maybe I should leave this for another video on smoking and uh, the mind? Yeah, so folks in San Francisco get real, man. I still love California and that you know, Bay Area up there. Don't, 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 you know, does the place in some crazy activity. You know, if you want to have a weekend of fun and party and love and, and good stuff. So I'm with that. You can do that. You can turn the clock back to the 60s and start over again. But I'm not this kind of walking on the street naked. I mean, it's such ridiculous uh, behavior.